started boxing at the age of seven. I went to an amateur club on Thamesmead, um, which was obviously Thamesmead Amateur <coughs> Boxing Club. And then I eventually moved a year later to Eltman District at eight and stayed there until I turned professional. The reason I started boxing was when I was young, I was just a short little fat kid and I needed to obviously start shifting some weight and my dad was a former boxer and I just was in, interested in getting down to the local gym and, and, and starting up. Ryan said to me, Dad, I want to go to a boxing gym. I said, OK, son. If you wanted to be a boxer, he could have been a boxer. If you wanted to be a ballet dancer, he could have been a ballet dancer. We took him to a gym, uh, and then he had natural ability, natural talent. So obviously, from the age of seven, I've been training Ryan, and then we joined a club, become coaches, and then ever since then, I've been training him. Yeah, I've known Ryan since we was about nine years old when we both started boxing. So we've been mates today, like, he's my best mate in boxing. And then we both turned pro at sort of around the same time. Obviously he won a world title. And I had the utmost respect for Ryan, you know. So I decided I went Ryan to train me and we went from there. After my fight, that's when it all started. I come back to my dad at the end of the third round and said like there was something wrong with my ear. And he said to me, like, obviously what any trainer would say is, do you want me to stop the fight or not? So I said, no, I carried on one. And then when I left, over the course of the next couple of days, it just was getting, my symptoms were getting worse. This whole side of me wasn't really functioning properly. And then uh, my face started to droop and I was having a slurred speech. And then that's obviously when my wife called the ambulance and they obviously said that it seemed like I'd had a stroke, but I couldn't really accept because I was so fit. I'd, you know, it was a ten and a half stone in prime condition. To have a stroke seemed like I, it was only really for old people. And Ryan's wife rang me up and said, Ryan's collapsed. He's been taken to hospital. We, we just jumped in a car, went straight. I said, what hospital was in? They said, he's at King's College. So we, we drove straight to King's College. We spoke to the surgeons there. They said, like, he's had a stroke and all that. Then, what goes through your head is, there's a million and one scenarios, you know. But in the end, I'm, I'm a very, very, very positive person. I can't accept negativity. Negativity means you, you fell. So all I'd done was channeled all my positivity. It affected me inside, but not on the outside, because I had to be strong for him. I had to be strong for my wife, I had to be strong for his wife. You have to be strong for me, like your daughter, to hold it all together. So, you know, it's, it's hard, it is very hard. Do you know what, I was just pleased that he was all right. But no, it didn't really affect me because all different things happen in boxing. It could happen to anyone. You can walk out of here and cross the road and get one over. So um, it's just one of the things and I feel for Ryan because it ruined his boxing career, but he's back now and he's doing something that he loves. To be fair, he's, a, he's a, one of the best trainers out there that I've had trained me. I started up Gumshop 14 years ago. Always wanted a boxing shop, but many, many years ago, there used to be Charlie Magri's over in East London, and there used to be called Title at, at Bermondsey. Title went and faded away, but Charlie Magri's was the main shop over in Bermondsey. So me and my brother said, there's nothing over here. So, you know, we, we, had, we used to have the Jolly Chef Caff down in Black Fen. So we sort of like sold the caff up, bought this shop, and started up Gumshop Boxing and Touchwood ever since then. It's gone from strength to strength. Um, I, Gumshield chose me, really. I've been coming for 10 years. There's all ages, you know, from five years up to 95 that come here. So I think what's really good is they, um, they take it into consideration what your capabilities are. The first four, five, six years were hard trying to establish yourself, trying to get the right sort of like equipment, what people want to buy, what they don't want to buy. But our biggest focal point is we're all coaches. We do personal one-to-one -one training. That's my biggest pulling point here. So we do personal one-to-one, -one, all walks of life coming here. 
we've changed so many people's lives around. You know, we've made people feel better. We you know, lose weight, tone up. Just, just be here, just to listen to them. Just to be here to, to sort of like people come here just for a chat. Sometimes come here to do a little bit, but we're here to support them. And then obviously that is from the, from the from the, from the shop from being a selling point to the training point. I've got the best of both worlds because they come in, they train, they buy my gloves, they buy my boots. You know, we supply, you know, to most people out there, we go to all the clubs, all the, people from all around the country come and buy our stuff, so touch wood, we're not doing too bad.